Game on, CoinOps fans. This is Pixel Freak from the CoinOps Project Discord. Um, and in celebrating, kind of getting a, a little bit of branding and an idea of that YouTube channel that uh, a lot of these videos come out on, um, it's really an overscan. Uh, everything outside the four corners of what you normally see. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to take you into the process of what happens behind the scenes. Uh, right now, uh, BP and the crew have been working on something that is kind of a reboot of the original Forgotten Worlds, and it's just it's really taken off. Um, a lot of a lot of folks have uh, dove into making this look really good, and right now it's kind of a test build and how things start out. And you're going to see the progression here. Um, I'm going to show you here. On the left side, we have uh, in my demos folder here, Forgotten Worlds. And you're going to see that this is a build that uh, has gone out to the testers and the crew to be able to look at some new ideas and to show what could be done and get ideas and feedback. And then it slowly morphs into something that then can go into Legends as themes. And that's what Legends Micro over here is. And I'll, I'll touch base on both of these to show you that starting over here with the CoinOps Forgotten Worlds uh, build that has been tweaked and, and built up over the, the last couple of weeks. Now the collections is out. Um, I want to take your uh, direction here. I always like to look at emulators. It's all main based right now. Okay. And oh, look, that's new. There's a music folder in here. I wonder what's in store. Uh, looking in the advanced configs. Holy cow. And this will just give you an idea. And I'll go over a lot of these. A lot of these you also know, because if you've watched anything about my videos before or read any of the readmes, you know that a lot of these are standard coin ops uh, style bat files. But you'll notice there are a lot that are new here. We'll cover them because you can really go into this Forgotten Worlds build and tweak it every little aspect of it to what you want, because this really, to me, Forgotten Worlds is a very particular, uh, shall we say, throwback build in that it is for the coin operated lovers uh, out there. You really get the, the feel of kind of like when the wall theme came up, you're walking down the arcade. This one goes, I think, a little bit further. You get the complete feel, the music, the background, the, the dark, arcade that you would normally find at your local mall or wherever it used to be that you would go to play your your coin off games as a kid so with that i'm going to start off here in the forgotten worlds and then you can see uh how it then becomes part of a theme or two for legends micro and how this all works so uh let's go into forgotten worlds arcade and there's also of course a micro so a smaller uh playlist if you will but i'm gonna go into the full because uh looking here you've got day mode night mode and zen mode before I fire it off, it is in day mode by default. Modes are different than just the toggles. Um, oh, I needed to leave that as advanced configs. The uh, the modes here are more than just the toggles and advanced configs. These are doing individual settings. Modes are more of a group of settings put together to make it appear in a way. There's day mode, night mode, and zen mode. Starts off in day mode. Let's just take a look because you need to see where I'm coming from before I kind of get into showing you what's going on. Whole new intro logo. Take it in. Music in the background, arcade noise, and then the full cabinet view. That's the smaller full cabinet. And the reason I say smaller is because there's two versions of the full cabinets. All right, you notice that out of nowhere, the cross-fading wheel logo came out of the side because it already went into a track mode and changed. All right, only two playlists in Forgotten Worlds. There's the arcades and favorites, all right? Now, this is the crossfade, because you notice they're not just slapping over each other, they're crossfading to the next cabinet. The smoke in the background, all of the Easter eggs you can take some time and look at. Um, some of them are pretty mint, uh, and there's quite a few uh, coin ops touches in there. But it's just absolutely smooth, standard buttons. I'm doing bumpers, I'm doing triggers, okay? You got your random with Y. You got your uh, searching by letters, same thing as bumpers, as X's and B's. And you've still got the favorites that have uh, become part of CoinOps build as well. The start button will toggle them on and off. Favorites playlist, it starts with the throbbing heart so you know where you are. All right, so going back to the arcades playlist, I'm gonna scroll through so that it will, uh... okay, you hear the background? That's not from the games being displayed. I have them going so that they won't play from the actual cabinet that's front and center. That's the arcade background noise. And the reason I say that is because you can mute that as well, depending on what your the level of granularity you want uh, with controlling this arcade for you. 
and then the music's also going in the background. I also want you to know that every time I start this up, it will randomize a playlist for this royalty-free music. So every time I start this up, it's good, hopefully should be a different song for some variation. All right. So again, these are the small cabinets. All right. That was day mode. Let's go back here and uh, let's go into night mode. I want to see if you notice any differences right away. Going back in. Okay. Cabinet and the area is a little bit darker. Actually, I apologize. It may have been night mode that it starts default because this does look the same. Notice the music's different. Arcade background music is um, arcade background is just still going. Let's tap out of here and let's do day mode just to make sure that I didn't get the defaults wrong. I may have got those flipped around again. Testing still new to me as well. Oh yeah. Okay. See, no smoke, brighter. So it is not default day mode. My bad. Um, see how the cabinets are also brighter. It's almost like there's light on them. There's not the smoky uh, background as well as it's a little bit brighter in there. Okay. So that's in between day, night mode. Okay. And Zen mode. And you don't want to be in that cabinet or when you don't want to be in that arcade. Okay. Notice the default also keeps the logos out of there. It's just you and a beautiful, fantastic mystical garden and your favorite coin ops games scrolling through. You don't need that wheel on the side, in my opinion, though, because you look at the marquees up top and you have all the beautiful artwork that's been redone, properly sized and updated. That's off to other Barry and Ego. And all the members of the coin ops crew pitching in. So Zen mode here. Ducking out again. This is the Forgotten Worlds build. Now let's go back to the night mode. Going into the advanced configs, I want to talk to you a little bit about the arcade cabinet ones. All of these have to do with tweaking uh, what goes on in the arcade view because there's far more than just the arcade view in the advanced configs of the Forgotten Worlds. Um, you've got where the cabinet choices are kind of between bookended uh, classic cabinets. You can choose that it's between Galaga and Pac Man, Ghouls and Ghosts and Street Fighter II, um, Simpsons and X Men. Um, and it's also not in an arcade. Uh, you'll see this in just a minute. Then there's also scenes. You can have kind of like the Zen garden, right? The Zen forest. You can have a city, a retro road, a retro wave, spooky storm. And then you see arcade smoke. These have to do with when you're in the arcade, these are further ability to make it so that the smoke is in the background, but you've muted the arcade noises. So the only noise coming will be the active cabinet that you're selecting. You won't have that background din of the arcades anymore. Smoke free muted means you'll have no arcade noise. You'll still have the individual game playing that you're selecting uh, that noise, um, but it'll be smoke free like the day mode. This will be like the night mode, but no arcade in the back. When I say mode again, this isn't a mode because it's just an individual option. Mode is the group or collection of options put together. Arcade smoke free. That means that you will still have the arcade noise, the din in the background, but it will be smoke free like the day. And you'll have the arcade din in the background because it doesn't say muted and the smoke will be present. You can tweak all of that. Okay. Attract mode. You, You'll recognize a lot of these from the other uh, legends or other coin ops uh, videos. They're fairly standard, but I want to keep going down here because crossfade logos also happens to do with the coin ops forgotten worlds options. That is where the wheel on the side, you can make it disappear completely so that you're just looking at the cabinets wherever you are. If you're choosing a scene or if you're looking at uh, these bookends that I call them, or if you're in one of the uh, in the arcade itself or you can enable it. Now, I also like you to know that when it's enabled, yes, it shows when you're scrolling, but it does auto fade out when it's left alone, which I think is a nice touch because then you're just left with the view behind. So with all of that, let's show you the large cross fade because you saw the small. I think it's important to show the difference in the size because there's a lot of varying opinions as to what size those should be. See, this is the large 
Can't ask about the crossfade logos on. Notice it came up and they're gone because it stopped moving. But uh, you notice the large cabinets go all the way to the top of the screen. You still have the marquee, but it's it's abutting to the top of your screen, whereas the small cabinets, there was some space around it. Look, different song playing as well. All right, let's turn off the background or turn off some smoke, but leave the cabinets in the uh, night mode. Then we're going to switch to the other. I keep losing focus there. Um, let's go to, I want to go back to the small turn off the crossfade. Also, arcade cabinet time, day and night. This will, whether or not there is kind of a shadow on the cabinet itself in the arcade mode, or actually in any of the modes, um, or if there is, you know, you've got kind of a darkened vignette, or if it's just a bright cabinet. Um, let's see here. I said that I was going to turn off the arcade din and the smoke. I think I also changed it back to small, but not crossfade, just to show you how much you can tweak your settings to get it exactly how you want. New music. Okay, I'm gonna scroll the games. See, there's no arcade music in the background. I'm sorry, uh, no arcade noise, the din. It's just the active cabinet that comes up. Smoke is gone. It's also the small, and these are not crossfading. Notice it's like a fast theme. The cabinet stays until you're done. Now, let's get out of the arcade style views because I think a lot of folks are going to like this option as well. Oh, Joust and Defender. Call these the bookends. And I'm going to leave all the other options the same at this point, just so that you can get an idea of what I'm talking about when I say the bookended cabinets on display. Look at that. And remember, if I want, I can turn that wheel off on the right. Also, look, do I have day or night cabinets on? I have night cabinets on. Now, to me, it looks a little odd because you've got the focus and the bright uh, background. Uh, so I think to me, in my opinion, to match up, I'm gonna turn off the wheel. I'm gonna change the bookended cabinets. And then I'm also gonna daylight the cabinets. Let's crossfade them. Let's make them day. And I'm gonna turn off the wheel. See how much control can go in there. But again, like I told you at the beginning of the video, it's built this way because we got to see what works, what resonates, what should stay, what should go. Look at that daylight cab, smaller cab, and they're crossfading, but the wheel's gone. I could have changed the bookends too, but you get the idea of what the bookends do. And again, once again, it was different music. So Let's do some scenes here. Let's go to Retro Road. Uh, I'm going to leave the, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see what happens if we do large and let's turn the wheel back on. Let's see what a scene is like compared to the, what I call the book in a cabs. They're large. I mean, if we're throwing out opinions here, I'm not the biggest fan of the large ones. I don't like uh, my marquee abutting all the way up to the top, especially because there's such interesting things going on in the background. I want to see around it. All right. So let's check out one or two more scenes here, just so you have an idea. Um, let's go to city. I'm gonna make it back to small cabinets and I'm not gonna crossfade it. Also, you can turn off the music if you want, enable and disable, that's also a feature. In the Forgotten Worlds, it's on by default, but by the time we get to micro, um, where you'll see some limited themes that were inspired by the options in here are looking to get integrated into Legends. Uh, we'll cover that in just a second. But again, one last example of what's going on here in Forgotten Worlds. Now in this one, I think we should change it back to Nightcabs. Now, 
one thing that I think you'd be kind of contradicting, let's see here, if I turn off the wheel and I don't have them crossfading, I wonder what's going to happen because you're not going to see the wheel going. So let's do that. Let's change it to night, turn off the wheel, and leave the crossfading off and see if it's uh, harder to navigate. I'm thinking it will be because you won't have any indication on the side. And if you're holding, you're just kind of playing roulette here to see what it's going to land on. So let's do this. Let's disable. And we have cabinet small, and then we want to make them nighttime to match the background that we're in. There you go. I think dark works best for this Blade Runner looking cityscape. Oh. Hmm. So if I turn them off, but I do crossfade, I don't think it'll let me which is good because otherwise you'd be kind of lost. So look at that. You try to tweak things and you find out that it's already been thought of. Just one double check. I'm going to see to make sure if I disable that now, after I've made that choice, can I make it go away? Nope. If you're going to do crossfade, see that? It's already been thought of. All right. So the crossfade uh, is only going to work when you're in the uh, turning off the wheel is only going to work if you're in the crossfade mode. Otherwise, it'll be overridden, which is smart because otherwise you'd be kind of lost. All right. So, folks, this is just an idea. The Forgotten Worlds, it's an independent build. It may or may not come out, but really it's just a sandbox, if you will, to see. Um, and you can tell how much goes into the different... Uh, options and how much control to see what resonates with the testers and see what can be developed see if work in progress and then get some feedback because um i wonder if you can turn on the smoke muted because i don't want an arcade background if i'm in storm scene let's see what happens Ooh. I almost feel like I'm going in the upside down here. Oh, Beanie Moo, you'd be so happy. Sorry, just all the flakes going around there. All right. Oh, kind of Stranger Things music anyway. All right. So, and again, just like everything else, uh, coin ops, A would select into the game. Retrofi turns it over to the emulator that's going to play the game. Right now we've got, uh, I believe because I was in night mode before, we now have a night mode legendary bezel. The game comes up, the glass is removed, and it's got the overglow because that's the night mode options as we've come to know them. And as always, back and select, or if you're using arcade controls, coin and start. We'll exit the game. All right, folks, so that's what happens with kind of a testing build. Uh, it may or may not come out. It's uh, Forgotten Worlds is being determined whether it's going to be its own. But I want to switch you over to now with all the development that's been going on behind the scenes with Forgotten Worlds. Look at Legends Micro. If this is going to be a patch or if uh, this is going to be more of an Elites version or if it's going to just be added on to Legends or become the base of Legends 4 uh, is to be determined yet. But if you look here um, in the themes, you'll notice that you've got full cabinet, full cabinet large, and wall. Three new themes that are now being integrated possibly into Legends. So with that, uh, let's go and take a look at This is all default. I haven't uh, messed with anything yet here. And this now is Legends Micro, which is taking the basically the existing, oh, nice new intro as well. Okay, full screen, of course. This is the default Legends theme, right? But let's get into settings. Wheel theme, we're used to that. Wall theme has now been added. It was not available before. Okay. Vertical theme was there. Spin theme was there. Muted. Listen to the background. Music's included. 
having it theme. Arcade 2. Look up there in the top. It actually has a 2 between arcades theme because there are two of them. Arcades smaller. Okay. Both of them appear to be in the night mode because they have the smoke in the background. And the cabinets appear to be slightly shaded. Since I like this one, let's try the arcade theme. Remember, this is Legends, not Forgotten Worlds. So we're not going to have the same type of control over this theme. And you notice, though, unlike Forgotten Worlds, this has all of the playlists and all of the other uh, the playlist characters, all of the other standard functions of Legends. OK, that's the difference. Taking a build like Forgotten Worlds, testing what's going on, seeing what resonates, seeing what works, and then using the best of that into one of the mainstream builds. That's really how the development cycle a lot of the times happens behind the scenes. So, yep, you look down here, this is a Legends build because you look down at the bottom right, you got the day and night indicator. A lot of the uh, same curated playlist has already been imported over just to show where it's at and how it works. Get your playlist characters auto hiding just like Legends 3 brought about. But with that, let's go to the settings and let's try just so you can see day night there's arcades which we're in arcades too i expect there to be larger cabinets yes notice how the marquee goes all the way to the top now maxed out for your space okay okay so and then in the settings here, let's go check out wall theme, which is the third new addition here to this micro build that looks like it's going to be integrated into legends. Yep, as we know. And look at the speed of these things. Just holding it down. You can barely even tell it so fast. Now I'm running this on a mid-range gaming PC with only a 1660 in it, but it is on an NVMe SSD. We got just scrolling through. All right. So now it has wall theme. Okay, typical day and night. But I love that in the settings, these integrated videos show you the themes so that you don't have to try each one out. You go, oh yeah, there's the marquee theme. I remember what that looks like. Legends, this is the default. Um, finally as well, let's get out of here and let's take a look at the advanced configs. Okay, so you'll be able to turn on the smoke and uh, okay so you can turn smoke on and make the arcade quiet turn the smoke off make the arcade quiet this would be the arcade is loud it's still the background noises but there's no smoke and there is smoke all right oh let's disable the background music right now we've heard a lot of that we know how it works we don't need it to keep going now if you look here look at all these these are legendary i'm sorry legends style bats because you can change into day mode, night mode, um, all of the bezels here. I'm sorry, you can change the bezels here to modern night and day. Um, cabinet mode, those are for uh, running the multiple bats at the same time that are all in the readmes. These should look very familiar. The glass effects, the playlist characters. Yeah, these are all Legends style bats. Notice here though, one thing that was missing in Forgotten Worlds to keep it pure for the arcade, for the purists and uh, there's nothing about settings. You notice there was no playlist for settings. It was either arcades or favorites. No visual settings. That's why everything's in here. That would really be good for a cabinet kiosk or just having it in the rec room so that people come over, they play games. Hopefully they can't mess anything up because everything's hidden. And it's really just about the love of the original arcade itself. As you can tell, it's a love letter to being able to take your pocket full of quarters and go down there and play some games as a kid, whereas the Legends builds, which we're all familiar with, would have the full suite of uh, options that we've come to know in the standard builds, and then just taking the best of and putting them in themes. So anyway, all thanks for hanging this long. Uh, I just like to kind of show you a little around the, the under the hood as to what goes on while you're waiting for these next updates. Uh, BP did say that the um, PC builds aren't necessarily progressing beyond updates and patches. Um, you know, the collections and player, player legends versions on PC, uh, concentrating now on getting it on Pi, getting it on Steam Deck, 
increasing the Linux offerings, um, really going to the mobile set now that the hardware is getting caught up and uh, really trying to consolidate the builds so that it's really hardware independent. When you look at a CoinOps Legends build, it should look fairly the same as far as Linux, PC, Steam Deck, Pi. And as the hardware gets faster and uh, more powerful, and as optimizations continue to happen in the CoinOps world, it's going to look better and better just across all of those hardware profiles. So remember to join the CoinOps Discord, ask your questions there, read the fact, read the rules, don't spam the channels, everybody be cool. We're there to help each other out because we all love gaming. All right, we'll see you on the Discord server.